Uh, Mr. Malcolm Ecstasy asks uh, of you, Megan, whether in hindsight it was classless, self-absorbed and downright unfair to subject the children in a Harlem school to your book, The Bench, whilst visiting. Unfair. Subjecting. Oh, hey kid, want a sweet? Oh, that's harsh. Hey kid, want to go to the fun fair? Oh, how cruel. Oh, hey kid, want to hear some spellbounding children's literature? You know, it's hardly all of a twist. No, I really haven't had anyone to read it to. And then this thought just came to me, to us, to me. Uh, why not read it to the kids at the school that we're going to visit in Harlem? Uh, Mr. Ecstasy is probably being a tad curt in his manner with that question, although the bench was poorly reviewed throughout the whole of the media. But surely you would accept that it does come across as rather conceited and full of oneself to go there and actually read your own book. Oh yeah, perhaps you should have read one of the classics. Or even better, one by an extremely talented but underprivileged child writer. I love your book. I, I love the book. How many times have I got to say? I, I love the bench. We all do, Harry. But Mr. Uh, Jeremy Weathervane wants to ask about the faux American accent you used when talking to crowds in New York City. I don't even know what you are talking about. What exactly does Mr. Weathervane want to ask about Harry's accentuation shift? Is that a thing? Yes, Harry. Uh, he asks more precisely uh, whether you have any idea how ridiculous it comes across to 90% of us watching. Yeah, but it's in the 10% where the power lies. No, Harry, you're getting it all wrong. Uh, um, I mean, what you got to remember is, what you got to accept, is that uh, Harry was very spiritually damaged uh, by his previous life, you know, but before he met me. GSH, grievous spiritual harm. Yeah, sometimes Harry tries a little bit too hard to fit in, so that he might end up, you know, copying people's accents or, you know, allowing people close to him to completely control his life. And all of his susceptibilities uh, come about through like neurological damage caused by his obstructed expression whilst he was caged in, in his previous royal life in the royal household. Uh, Arthur Sightful asks why you, Megan, have a tendency to overspeak but undersay. Yeah, which gives us the benefit of a glorious melody for every truth. When I speak, it kind of unfolds. Right? With lots of purposeful horses and terms like you know and right, which kind of pads things out while I'm waiting for the next, you know, moment like to hit me and for the words to come and for the sentence to continue. Oh, it really is something to behold, Megan. Uh, so your answer to Mr. Sightful's question is because you don't really know what you're going to say and you just speak whatever pops into your head. Bingo! But that's only when I'm answering a question whilst I'm prepared, you know? If I know what the question's going to be, I, I follow the script perfectly. You know? Oh, God, yeah. You know, everything I say is perfectly scripted. Like a glove. And even when it is scripted, you know, I don't want to state anything that can be pushed up push back against too hard. So, you know, even when it is scripted, uh, those statements usually say you know, very little. Yeah. Right? Right. So whether scripted or off the cuff, they are more often than not purposefully ambiguous. Right. You know, ab absolutely. You know, and if I want to make a real difference, you know, I'll write to important people directly so that the common people themselves can't get in, the, get in the way of me trying to improve their lives. Even if it's against their will? Oh, yeah. Mm, classy. Classy. Mm, classy. Classy. Oh, how classy. Classy. Oh, classy, classy. 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 Right. Look, don't ask me how it's done, but apparently you can click a like button or something. 
even a subscribe button. Rumor has it there's a notification bell and a sharing option. I've got no idea how to do it, but if you can work it out, I'd really appreciate it.